something in her ear to which she nodded. I definitely will have to have a good talk with this Dylan guy. I was looking at her when Lahaina jumped on me and kissed me. Before I could push her away I saw Caroline looking at us with wide eyes and then she turned on her heels to leave. I wanted to run behind her, to stop her, to tell her it was not the way it seemed but I didn't. I didn't because I have a contract to take care of. A fucking contract. I pushed away Lahaina from me what the fuck you think you are doing. I whispered yelled at her. Come on Aaron. We're about to get married she stated in a matter of fact tone and I kept mom. Lahaina and I went back to stand with our fathers. Talking for a few minutes before I excused myself and came out of the place. Dad followed me outside. Placing a hand on my shoulders he said you'll be signing it tonight. Right. Dot. Yes. I whispered and he smiled. She's really a nice girl. Aaron he said. Yeah. She is. I said sarcasm dripping from my voice. You get the whole company tomorrow. And I want you to go and talk to James and get his signature tomorrow itself. Dad said in a fatherly tone and went back in. I sat in my car and went back to my penthouse. Where Carter must be waiting for me with the papers. I've checked it sir. There are no loopholes. Carter said and placed the paper in front of me. I picked up a pen from my table and closed my eyes for a second. Caroline's face came into view and I regretted my decision. A voice from my heart said I shouldn't but the voice from my brain was louder and it said it was for the best. So I signed it. I signed my fucking marriage contract. Dot. Hey. My wonderful people. Well. It's bad that I can dedicate this chapter to just one. It should be like at least three to four. So friends what do you think is gonna happen with Aaron now? He can't bear Lahaina for even an hour. How is he going to do it his entire life? Poor guy. And yeah, don't forget to vote, comment and share. Love you people. Chapter 15 I wish you were for me Caroline Spav. I sat in silence as Dylan drove me home. He has been constantly asking me what was wrong but I didn't reply. I know if I say anything I'll break down. And it was the last thing I wanted to do in front of him. It's usual for me now. Hiding my tears and my vulnerable self from others. At first it was because of my fear of dad. I feared he will strike me more if I tell others about it but then I got habituated to it. It's better not to tell about your pain and suffering to others because what they can do is only give sympathy and nothing else. No one is going to fight for you. I know Dylan can and will but he won't be there forever. Caro, this is getting really bad now. You are never so silent. I was there with you the whole time. What happened to make you like this? Dylan said concerned and continued to drive. I'm just not feeling well. I'll be fine after a small nap or so. I said my voice heavy with all the emotions I felt at the moment. You sound like you'll cry any instant. What's wrong? If it's related to your family I swear I will kill them all he growled in anger. No it's not. I just need some rest. I whispered staring at my hands forcing myself not to cry. He stopped the car outside my house and stepped out of it. Coming towards my side he opened the door and made me stand. Caro as he started to say but I cut him off. I'll call you tomorrow, I said and ran inside. After a few minutes I heard the engine start as he drove off. I ran upstairs to my room, stripped off my dress and threw it carelessly on the bed. Moving inside the bathroom, I put on a long tee and splashed some water on my face as tears started to make their way to my cheeks. I looked at myself in the mirror and the scene of them dancing holding each other close flashed in front of me. I took few steps back till my back hit the wall behind and dropped on the bathroom tiles. Hugging my legs close to my chest and burying my head in between I cried my heart out. I never envied Lahaina. Never in my life not even when dad used to hit me and then cuddle her in front of me. But today I did. I envy her for taking Aaron away. At the ball when I saw them kissing I wanted to go to them and slap each of them but I didn't. Because that's just not me. I don't hit people. I don't hate people. It's been my life since ever. My dad left my mom for someone else. Then he treated my stepsister as his princess and me as a trash, preferring her over me. Even today Aaron chose her over me. Tears trickled down my cheeks continuously and I didn't make any effort to make them stop. But then again, Aaron wasn't at fault. This was not his mistake. I knew from the start that there was definitely something going on between dad and Aaron's father and it circulates around Lahaina and Aaron but I still chose to ignore it and see where it landed me. When dad threw mom out. I promised myself not to get attached to anyone and especially not to a man but it seems I broke my promise. I heard my phone ring in my bedroom and ignored it, but it rang again and again. Gaining all my strength I got up on my foot and walked out of the bathroom. It was Nadia. Caro what's wrong? Dot. She asked. Her voice scared. How did she know? 
What's wrong? Dot. I repeated her question, clearing my throat so that my voice sounds usual. I know you're crying. Don't try to act with me, okay? I can easily sense that in your voice. And Dylan called and said you suddenly became all silent and sad. What's wrong? Dot. She yelled on the other end of the phone. I'm fine, just tired. That won't work on me. Don't lie to me or I'm coming to your place, she threatened. Not now. It's quite late. Can you come tomorrow morning? Dot. I asked. I wanted to end the call as soon as possible. Yeah. Fine. But please don't cry, she literally begged. Hmm. I said and ended the call. I threw my phone on the coffee table and climbed my bed. Taking out a framed picture of my mother, I hugged it as closed my eyes, still sobbing. Sorry mom, I repeated your mistake. I whispered to myself. My mom made a huge mistake to love the wrong person and I did it too. Maybe not love but whatever it was it hurts. Badly. It hurts more than any physical wound can ever. I closed my eyes and tried to think about all the good things that happened in my life. Nadia said it helps in tough times but soon realized there were not any. The memories of my childhood with mom, uncle Williams and Dylan were not so clear and after that I didn't have any good memories. The next morning I got out of my bed, with puffy red eyes and an ache in the chest. Moving to my bathroom I took a quick shower and changed into a pair of jeans and baggy top. I put on some makeup to hide my dark circles and some ice on my eyes to make them look normal. There was a knock on the door and I knew it must be Nadia. I opened it and she came in giving me a bear hug. Oh Caro, what happened she said cupping my face in her hands. I wanted to hug her back and tell her everything but I stopped myself. Can I stay in your apartment for some time? Dot. I am not ready to face dad and Lahaina or Julia at this point and I wanted to be away from all this. The best place being my bestie's place. Is that even a question? Dot. She said throwing her hands in the air. Okay then, let's go I'll tell you after we get there. I said. All of a sudden the door to my room opened and Lahaina stood there with a smirk playing on her lips. Oh, the bitch is here too she said referring to Nadia. Of course you're here. Nadia replied with a smile. Well, I have a great news. Lahaina looked at me I'm getting married she declared clapping like a kid. So you finally found your man whore. That's so great. Nadia too clapped. To the most sexiest and wealthy man in the country. Aaron Woodwards. He must be here anytime soon. She said glaring me as I controlled my sob. Nadia stood there shocked. I told her yesterday about how excited I was to meet him and she was sure he likes me too but Lahaina words must have made her go mad. She looked at me with wide eyes and then back at Lahaina. So, dear Caro, will you please bless me with your presence at my wedding as the bridesmaid? Dot. Lahaina said sarcastically, bowing her head. 